Philip Mora has been updated to version 30. So in the new air version, Philip Mora has a lot of the new features. Some of them are quite excellent, such as the uh, AI masking tool or K-frame graph editor or AI music generator and more. So in this video today, I'm gonna mention to the K-frame graph editor. So uh, the K-frame is one of the most uh, important tool in Filmora so with the new app version the, this uh, tool will level up in SN so let's get started with the Filmora 13 version so I'm Fanny Ju okay to work with your K-frame panel you wrap and wrap a video uh, onto the timeline then the double click to open video property and right at the corner of the video property you can click the K-frame button to open it right and now you see the basic video tab is divided into two sides with the uh, left side you see the basic parameter with transform scale position rotate and in the compositing you see the parameter opacity opacity and more right you see that okay for the on the right side you see the k frame panel that's the new feature in the femora 13 right so let's go first with the top of the bar of the keyframe panel. You can see the simple is. You can see the simple uh, here are animation of the keyframe with the new point theme or 13. And that's uh, all of them support the running keyframes for the right. And now. Now the keyframe panel allow you with the keyframe panel does allow you to add a keyframe uh, and easy to adjust the keyframe for uh, your video by clicking uh, the keyframe icon here you see that to add a keyframe with any parameter that you want in here right you can select the keyframe uh, at the top of the, uh, the tab in each tab right to select all the keyframe and then you can right click to find the uh, uh, more option with the animation of keyframe linear curves continuous curves freezing using now or uh, more option for you right delete keyframe or right okay now I give you the specific uh, example I will add keyframe for X and Y X is to make the zoom in and zoom out oh right. And then click here and first you need to move lay it at the frame rate that you want to uh, uh, if it appear right and now I want to uh, zoom in and out appear when the man pouring the water into the cup right here you see that and I have the first key frame that's the starting point right and when the man uh, when the water is pouring was pouring right you see that I add another keyframe to zoom in here and when it's finished I'm gonna make the zoom out right yeah and I add zoom out here right okay now you to uh, adjust the parameter adjust the number of the parameter here you just hold the keyframe point and move up or down to adjust it right you can customize it directly in the adjusting box here with the number right with specific number right okay and that's just and you take a review when I edit it sorry delete this okay now you take the preview when I uh, make the keyframe in the keyframe panel right and zoom in right a bigger and zoom out you see that it's easy to use, right? But now, it's a, in the more uh, feature with the theme more authority, you add the animation for your keyframe with a continuous camera or curves or using you know, linear, linear when you don't need to use the animation of the keyframe. So let me give you a sample. Here I using maybe a continuous curves, and you can move it up or down to. Uh, make the animation of your keyframe and now you take a review when I make it down here 
It's like a review. You see how it works, how the animation works. It's a look array and make your video look more smoother, make your effect more smoother. You can turn it up and down. You see, and add uh, any K frame, point K frame on the timeline. You can add just uh, it with uh, any uh, animation of K frame you want, right? At here or right here, you add uh, maybe ear, right? And then as ear right, right here. Now you take a review. See that? It uh, look uh, more interesting with the uh, K-frame panel and combined with the uh, animation of K-frame here for you. So that's all the new features uh, in Filmora uh, in the K-frame panel feature, right? So that's all. I want to share with you today. Thank you very much guys for watching my video. And if you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. And thank you very much again and see you next video.